Hey everyone. So I've been so busy with the barn uh, recently that I haven't really done any videos of uh, just doing stuff around the land. You know, I do a lot of stuff off camera, but I haven't really done any videos of it. Uh, about a couple of months ago now, ages ago, Dot and her dad put a load of posts in to fence the garden. And uh, it's my job to do all the braces and run the wire and all that. Um, so yeah, in this video we're going to do that, finish fencing the garden. Uh, Dot's instructed me we need a gate and also she wants a bench. So in this video we're going to try and get all those jobs done. And then I'm also going to go and pick up the water wheel parts and the brackets for the barn. And then uh, next week I'll be back on the barn again. But yeah, we're going to get the fence, garden fenced and make a gate and make a bench. So Dot has been, uh, Dot and her dad have been uh, putting these posts in for the fence. We wanted to fence the garden uh, to keep the geese and chickens out so we can let them out without having the risk of them, uh, you know, just coming and wrecking everything, eating everything. So uh, they've done the posts and that's my job to do the braces. So these are uh, untreated posts, they're, they're large, so they're naturally durable timber, but the sapwood isn't durable, the heartwood is. So I've got to take these pockets quite deep, otherwise the uh, sapwood will just rot, and then, uh, and then these will just pop out. So they need to go into the heartwood in the middle. adds a considerable amount of work. Ah, I'll tell you what, I moan when it's raining. When it's hot like this, I prefer the rain. Oh, too hot and I can't think. I just did all that work on that post. Realised it has uh, cracked in half. I just made a new one. Well annoying. Hey everyone, so it's the next day. Got all those braces in yesterday. So today I've got to run the wire. 
I just gone up and got it and rolled it out. It's so hot. It's really difficult work. Today is uh, 26 degrees Celsius and it's 86% humidity. So that's uh, similar to the Amazon rainforest. Uh, already just really hot and sticky. Yeah, brutal. So I've got my wire laid out. Trouble is we're using uh, just the leftovers from the uh, fencing we did before. And so it's in short bits and I've joined them together. So yeah, just hopefully get this uh, wire in today. Like I say, it's uh, getting quite a challenge working in this uh, humidity. Right, set up, I'm gonna get this fencing pulled up. Go and help it round a little bit. So the fencing's tensioned, just need to go around. But look who I found over here. Now. Thought you were supposed to be working, you two. Yeah, little puss. You got her all pinned down, have you? Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Look at your grubby knees, you've been toiling. <laughs> Tiger on you. Okay, I just got to go around and get a bit of this slack through. Probably not going to get a lot of it, but a little bit. This one has just started to pull a little gap under it there now, so that's about a limit of the tension we can put into this. cracking as it as the tension evens out as it heats up in the sun. Right, I think that'll do us. So I just need to go and terminate it on the end and then fill in the gate, make a gate. Then I'm under instructions to make a bench for Dot. And she says if I do all that then she'll be happy weeding in the garden. So that saves me doing it. What's going on here then? Are you weeding? Are you helping with the weeding? <laughs> you just showing mummy where they are, are you? You good girl. <laughs> Hanging out.
All right, hey everyone, it's another scorching hot day, and uh, today I'm gonna make a gate. So, just been up the top, got some uh, off cuts, bits and pieces, and I've got an idea in my head what we're gonna do. Uh, we'll make a nice traditional wooden gate. Shape that, that's the post, or the long post now. Just doing the uh, marking out of tenons. Rail, top rail. Okay, we are ready to put this together. So uh, it's quick drying glue, so it has to be quick. So yeah, you can just watch and edit. Draw 
taking them up. And that's where we break from the barn build. Pull them up nice and tight. This wood sets for moisture, and this is green wood. Right. Quick, 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 quick. Alright, hey everyone, it is the next day and this is all glued up. I just uh, started making this piece here, this uh, support brace that's going to be uh, routed into here. So I'm going to get that marked out and cut out. So it routes in here, through here, and then that then sits at the same height as these other rails. That should look quite cool. You'll have to excuse my attire. Because I'm wearing, I've got my little white legs out, I'm wearing socks and crocs and swimming shorts. Because this heat is just killing me. So I look ridiculous. And uh, next time I moan about the wind and the rain and the cold, remind me in the comments that it's just better than this. Because this is grim. It's like 29 degrees, 80% humidity, and it's just brutal. Struggling. So yeah, let's do this anyway and stop moaning. <laughs> apologize for how sweaty and disgusting I look. It's just the humidity is just ridiculous. Even, even bad, did not it? So 
it's come along well, despite me dying of heat exhaustion. I'm just putting these little slats in. The only problem is, is that the ground isn't level where this sits. I was going to make the gate match it, but then I don't think it would open very well. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to just uh, level the ground or something. I'll put a flap on one of the ends of it. Right, I'm going to leave that for today, come back to that tomorrow to get an earlier start on it. I went and uh, collected the water wheel parts and brackets this morning, so I only had a couple of hours on that. So I'll finish that tomorrow and get it hung. But uh, this is what it's all about. The, uh, all this work. The dots just harvested a load of our tomatoes out of the greenhouse. Yeah, that's what all this works for. That homemade willow basket filled with lovely, delicious, naturally ripened tomatoes. That's what all the work's for. You can't even buy them in the shop like that. Right, it is the next day, and uh, I messed up a little bit on the design of this, really. As you can see, should have put more uh, of these rails in. Then I could have put less of these in, which would have saved me bolts. And also, I've got this issue now where I've got nothing to really connect two ends to so I've got I can do like that so for these few that have only got one rail I'm putting a bit of glue on them glue and a bolt but yeah it's uh, not the most efficient design I wouldn't copy it if I was to build it again I'd do it different but um you know I didn't uh I didn't actually draw it out or anything I just uh I just started making it why people get really good at things when they do them often because the first time you do something you figure out all of the things and better ways of doing it and better design changes you know second one third one fourth one is always a better design okay. it still looks nice and it'll be fine so just keep chickens out all right gate's done let's say not the most efficient design I had to put little separate bits in, took a bit extra time, but it ain't bad for a day and a half. And out of uh, offcuts from the barn build. So unfortunately I'm going to have to cut this peg off, another design floor, to get the hinge across there. But it's still doing its job, just not going to look as nice. So yeah, put the hinges on and then we'll go and hang it. And then Dot will be pleased, then I've got to make her a bench and then I can get back to the barn. So there's the back side. Looks pretty neat, doesn't it? Doesn't look too bad. First time ever making a gate, well, proper gate anyway. So yeah, let's uh, get the hinges on, go get that hung. A lot of you are probably starting to notice that I'm doing um, a lot of like really high quality jobs now. You know, when I first came here, first started out, if we needed a little gate or something, I'd knock something together real quick, just out of pallet wood and stuff. And uh, a lot of stuff I built in the early days was absolutely, I knew, that I'd be re rebuilding it, you know, doing it again sometime. And, uh, you know, now I've been here a few years, I've got the tools and everything. I know now that everything I make is going to stay. You know, I want it to last. You know, I want, I want stuff I make now to outlive me. So that's why the quality of things I make is continuously going up and up and up. Because a lot of the stuff, you know, the early stuff I made, like, um, I'm going to have to remake at some point. So from now on, I'm making stuff that, you know, like I say, with the intention of it outliving me. And uh, that's the case for this gate. It's the plan, anyway. Right, give this a nice coat of linseed oil. Should have done that before I fit the hinges, but I forgot. Don't mind, it'll sink in behind there. Got plenty on.
We'll turn that round, do the other side. It is a little bit cooler today, but it's still very humid, so it's still difficult working in it. But it's better than it was yesterday and the last couple of days before it. That was ridiculous, I mean just too much. Just too much. Oh, that is heavy. I can't see what I'm doing there. Can't see the hinge. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'm sitting right there. Pivoting on there, that would be all right. Okay, slight lean outwards, so like that, neutral. All oh, right, I don't know. I'm going to get this on there on my own, so I can't really see what I'm doing, unfortunately. But um, I'll give it a try. So you have to sort of guess it from where I am. Oh, nope. Ha, got it. Oh, we're a little bit out. All right, let me sort that out quickly. Okay, it's done, working great. Just put a latch on the ad. And uh, so the gate is weighted perfectly. So it's just slightly opens on its own, but not like violently or anything. And it sort of relaxes and stays and holds itself there. So you can just, you know, you don't have to prop it open or anything. That's perfect for being in and out with a wheelbarrow or anything. It opens wide enough out that way so that we can uh, get the tractor in and the latch sits really nice and tight so it actually pins it against the uh, post perfectly so it won't uh, won't rattle around in the wind yeah well pleased with that i think it came out nice it's about a day and a half two days work and all off cuts and scraps from the uh, from the barn um, i just need to level the ground under it so that we don't have such a big gap um, I could have made the gate wonky, I could have made the gate down here, but then when it opened, it wouldn't have opened far enough. So, yeah, just have to build up with a bit of stone under here, I think, just so chickens can't get under. But yeah, well pleased with that. Oh, that is bright. So yeah, there we go. Good job done. I've just put some gravel under the gate to level it off a bit and uh, moved a bit of the uh, stone that was here just to smooth out the uh, path. So as you walk up to the gate, you're not walking too steeply uphill. Then you open the gate and it's not too bad. I've got this mound of stone, but I'll slowly over the, over the years get this leveled out a bit better even. But yeah, good job done. While I was filming that, a nice little slow worm in the gravel and uh, didn't have a microphone with me so I just took a little clip and I'll uh, show you that now but yeah it's nice to see them it's not even a worm it's not a snake or a worm it's actually a legless lizard we're relatively rare you don't see them that often but yeah nice to see but yeah tomorrow I'm gonna uh, make the bench and then Dot will be happy then Dot just got back from work and she said it's ridiculous and she loves it so I'm pleased with that. She was well pleased. So uh, she said, oh, have you filmed it from the back? And I just realized I hadn't. So I thought I'd better go and show you. It does look a bit mad, doesn't it? It will go gray and blend in a bit because at the moment it stands out a bit. It's a bit too fancy. But yeah, show you from the back. Oh. 
Yeah, there it is from the back. It actually kind of looks nicer from the back, to be honest. And the garden is looking lovely now. Fenced in, dots uh, and the weeding and the grass cutting. And we've got our lovely gate. Oh, that's a good feeling. Good morning, everyone. New day. Gate's looking great. So today's plan is to restore a bench. So a while ago, Dot's parents had these lying around. they are giving them a bit of a hose down, but they got rusty old bolts in them that all need to come out. Need new slats and a coat of paint. One there, one there. So I'm gonna get them sorted out, get a coat of paint on them and make all the slats for it. And then uh, Dot can have a bench and a gate and a fence garden, and then I can start back on the barn. Right, it is the next day, paint's dry, and uh, yeah, we can start putting these together. I made the slats yesterday, you saw the table saw them running through the router. I don't know if uh, this is going to be a pain to do, starting in the middle, or you've got to start from the end or whatever. I'm just going to start, start trying to get some structure to it, because at the moment I've got to clamp down to the bench and stuff. Right, so I just uh, made some little metal brackets because the original ones uh, that it had, they only had one and it was all bent. So I made new ones. I'll be quite gentle with them because I only just put a bit of spray paint on them. Hopefully the screw will pull that in. It's not quite bent right. The other one I did fit perfect. Never mind it. It'll, it'll go, I think. There we go, it went. One more screw. We go all done now i reckon that ain't a bad job so i just need to give it a bit of wax i've got the uh, little brackets on under there i made brackets it's nice and rigid looks excellent so yeah i'm gonna put a bit of wax on it and then we'll move it out to the garden Right, it's all done. I think that came out really well. 
didn't cost us anything. We've got them three, a few nuts and bolts and a you know a few offcuts. And we've got a nice bench. So Dot will be pleased. So I'm gonna grab her now and uh, we're going to carry it into the garden. So we just carried the bench up to the top of the garden. And Dot's happy, she's got her basket. She's gonna pick some tomatoes. Pick some tomatoes and have a sit down on your nice bench. Because I've just realized that we've been doing loads of work on the barn, on the barn, on the garden. I haven't really shown you the garden. So the greenhouse is looking pretty nice. Last time I showed it, these tomato plants were just uh, tiny little seedlings. Yeah, it's not looking too bad in here now. They go up to the roof. We've had quite a few of them already. It's a pepper plant. It's a little bit far behind. We should get something off it. And we've got aubergines just starting to flower. Getting a bit late. It's been a bit of a challenging year because it, uh, it was so wet and cold. And now it's absolutely roasting hot. And so it's been a bit of a challenging year, but they're coming, coming along very nicely, like I say, go right up to the roof. Dot's done a good job. Harvesting into your homemade basket. <laughs> Our uh, melons didn't do that well this year. See a lot of them just sort of died like that one. Uh, we've got one plant with a few on it. It's, uh, yeah, didn't, not that what, good this year. And uh, cucumbers as well weren't that great. But yeah, tomatoes are good. So greenhouse overall success. And we've had uh, loads of potatoes, loads of garlic. We're just starting to uh, pick the sweet corns now. They're just, uh, just starting to be ready. So they're just starting to sort of pop out. Uh, Lots of runner beans, I've had lots of them. Uh, Swede, start picking them soon because they're getting to the point where they're ready. Uh, we've got some strawberries over here, more Swede, but they're not doing a lot now. Carrots, they're doing quite well. Had a lot of carrots, I've had two patches of them, we've got another patch over there. Uh, pack choy, I think, it's coming along. Uh, leeks get in there. Leeks are very slow, but they come eventually. Uh, I've had a lot of beetroot. We've mostly eaten that now. More carrots, uh, parsnips. Um, we don't harvest them yet, but they'll be lovely and big when we do. Around Christmas, we'll probably start harvesting them. And then down here, we've got uh, butternut squash. And uh, yeah, squashes in general. The potatoes were planted all along here, so they didn't get too much light and stuff until now, so they're a bit late. But they're coming, and they're doing very well. Pretty decent size. Pretty good. So yeah, that's the uh, our little garden. A new gate, a new bench. All going well. Not a bad year, but um, like I say, weather's been challenging. It's just been cold and wet and then now roasting hot and nothing in between. So there's two butterflies there. See how camouflage that one is. Can you even see it? So we decided to put the bench here. I've put it on some uh, little blocks of wood so the feet don't sink in. Yeah, looks great. Eventually I'm going to build a little uh, canopy over it because it gets very hot in this garden because the sun comes right across there and uh, you know sitting there in the sun it's not really viable without a shade yeah 
Looks great. <laughs> we collected many. What's what? That there is a spider, isn't it? Oh, where is its legs? It's hmm? a dead one. Sleeping. No, it seems to be missing legs. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know, dear. You got many tomatoes? Have a look. Not bad haul. So there we go. That's the uh, all the garden jobs done. Dot's been asking me to do these for months, and I finally got around to it. And uh, this is probably the last time I shall ever sat, sit on this bench. It's a two-seater bench, but it will probably be Dot there and the cat there from now on. So yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.